Four friends go for nyamachoma lunch and then they vanish from the face of the earth. A restaurant in Kitengela, Kajado County, was the last place the four friends were seen together. Benjamin Amachi Imbai, Elijah Obong, Brian Odor, Jack Ching, all young Kenyans in their thirties. Their vehicle, a Toyota Mark X, was found the next day, about a half a kilometer, from the restaurant in Kitengela, where they were last seen. You are having a good time. Folks, this case has left Kenyans shocked and wondering what really happened. People disappear all the time. Somebody goes on an errand. And they are never seen again. But four people, four young men, <laughs> that is strange. Indeed, beyond strange. Now, we'll go a bit deeper into that shortly. Because details have emerged yeah, that may give us very critical clues that will help us determine what may have happened on April 19th, somewhere in Kitengela. But to understand those clues, we must first understand circumstances in the past yeah, involving the disappearance of people. We all know that currently, the lives of many people, globally and even in Kenya, are in disarray. People are under various financial pressures, yeah, and it is very easy for one to snap. We have had cases in the past where some people have walked away from it all. In other words, have orchestrated their own disappearance. For instance, a family man decides to elope with his mpangwa kando. They can't bear the shame of the community around them the church, etc., etc. And so they orchestrate something that looks like an abduction yeah, or a disappearance, only to reemerge 20 years later, 30 years later, yeah, to shocked relatives. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's murder. And the remains yeah, of the deceased are placed in a place where they are never found. Admittedly, when the person involved was in politics, it becomes a bit easier to figure out what may have happened. In 1975, the spirited efforts yeah, to get the body of J.M. Karaoke vanish into thin air failed. Mungu Alikata yeah, some Kenyans would put it, those who ended the life of this very popular, patriotic, great Kenyan went to great pains yeah, to try and make him vanish forever. They made sure that his face would never be identified, even by those close to him. But there must have been a leak yeah, from one of the people who were involved in this operation. Yeah. And somehow, word got out that his remains were the city mortuary. And his wife yeah, was able to positively identify him yeah, with a birthmark that was somewhere in his upper thigh. And when she went to fetch others to come and see, when legislators actually arrived on the scene, they found some people very busy trying to squeeze those remains through a back window. That is politics in Kenya for you. But there was another man, yeah, part of the Kapenguria Six, a man called Kungu Karumba. 
a great Kenyan freedom fighter who to this day nobody knows for sure what happened to this great Kenyan who vanished in June 1974. But back to Kitengela, April 19th, yeah, last week, the wife of one of the men who disappeared, Jack Anyango Cheng, says she received a call from a man yet to be identified who told her that the four had been killed. Now it gets even more interesting. One of the officers familiar with this investigation, one of the police officers, told the press yesterday, and I quote, if they are dead, it must have something to do with their criminal activities. End of quote. It has emerged that one of the men that vanished, Benjamin Amachi Imbai, has a pending criminal case at the Mavoko Law Courts. Last year in January, he was arrested along with six other men yeah, for links to a gang that robbed a man of 900,000 Kenya shillings. And it gets even more bizarre. One of the other men, Jack Anyanga Oche, has three friends who disappeared under similar circumstances last year in 2020. It seems that things will get clearer concerning this case in the days to come. We just need to be a bit patient. Until next time, this is Chris Komekocha.